Someone has made a list of accidental crime stats in Star Citizen and it's absolutely brilliant, we will talk about it in today's video. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, it's The Eradicator, and today we are going to talk about a post on Spectrum from Dinosian, or Dinosian, I hope I did not butcher his name, and he's made a little recap of uh, some of the accidental crime stats that do happen in Star Citizen right now, something that I have been talking about for quite some time on the channel, and the reason why I'm making this video is of course not to bash the game, but more to raise awareness and, you know, make you guys aware of uh, the situations that can get you in trouble right now in a game that may not be your fault, but simply because of bugs or because of um, extra coding that is required for the game. So, of course, I will put this, the thread in the comment section down below. There will be a pinned comment so that you guys can check it out and maybe contribute as well. So, uh, there is a list of 11 of these situations and uh, there's a lot to talk about. So, let's first start with the first one, which is, of course, shooting guards in the bunkers. Uh, and there's, there's, there's a lot of those situations in which you are, unfortunately, shooting friendlies by accident. And, you know, sometimes they just get uh, in the way, you know, they're just randomly walking when you are shooting. What can you do, right? Sometimes they're just desync. You think you're shooting an enemy and actually uh, a friendly was just uh, in the way. And despite having the friendly markers, these things can still happen, unfortunately. So, yeah, this happens extremely frequently. And the problem is that this gives you a crime stat too. At least you don't get a, a bounty for this one, uh, but still nevertheless, it's very annoying and it's more than likely that the turret outside the bunkers will have a shot your, uh, shot your ship, right? Next, the lawful bodyguard exploit. Now, this gives you a crime stat 2 to a crime stat 4 here. Uh, and basically, unfortunately, this one cannot be paid off. And uh, this is actually, uh, let's say, for example, that you are a lawful bounty hunter, right? And uh, a criminal uh, is trying to uh, to uh, to has a group of, of uh, has a group of bodyguards, for example. Well, uh, unfortunately, those bodyguards may not be criminals, but they are protecting the criminal. So uh, let's say, for example, you are shooting them, they will be pressing the charge, the charges, and that is a borderline exploit. So uh, in my opinion, I think that to resolve that, uh, if you are in a uh, in a party with a criminal, I think that we should have like a, uh, a warning saying that you know one of the members of your party is a criminal if you remain in a group with this person you will be considered a uh, an accomplice perhaps and then you will be given a maybe a not a crime stat 2 or crime stat 3 but maybe just a crime stat 1 so that bounty hunters who go after those people uh, do not get a crime stat as well next we have the ghost armistice violation here which apparently gives a crime stat 2 and this happens apparently randomly where the game thinks that uh, a ghost collision box of another player ship is on the pad of your uh, of your flight path even though uh, it is not so that's actually uh, quite terrible and so it says that you and this actually happened to me a, a few times right I just land on the pad and there's just like no one there uh, and for some reason there was actually someone that I did not see and uh, this would have given me a uh, pad ramming war crime stat, right? So this is unavoidable and unpredictable and uh, hopefully uh, in the future we'll be able to uh, to get rid of those if CIG manages to make everybody visible. Yeah, it has happened to me sometimes, you know, people in the same server as us uh, like, oh, I, there, you are here, but I can't, I can't see you, right? That's very strange. Uh, and that's one of those examples. Next is uh, what is called the speeding ticket. This gives a crime stat 1. So luckily the crime stat 1 can be paid off. Uh, usually not a big deal, uh, he says. Uh, sometimes unavoidable if you are in a situation where security ship cannot get your scan and they will just charge you. Uh, this can be also unavoidable if the security ships collide with the geometry and explodes before getting to you, unfortunately. Next is trespassing, which can be paid off, though. It's just very annoying. Uh, sometimes trespassing falls safe and uh, fails safe and does not activate on certain missions. For example, when you eliminate the drug stash, 
which can get you a crime stat 1 for simply being in the vicinity. It's annoying, but again, uh, you can pay it off at, uh, at the terminal. Next, shooting security ships. So that's pretty much similar to shooting guards, but not as common though. And this happens when unfortunately there are some security ships in the area where you are shooting. So uh, this can be avoiding if you are careful, but sometimes it's not available because it's not avoidable because of uh, desync. Once again, this has happened to me a couple of times. Uh, it also has happened to me uh, sometimes that the security ships were marked red and then they were not red anymore. But because they were red, I was very quick at shooting them. So that was also another problem. Next, the uh, accidental missile operator mode. So this gives you apparently a crime stat 2 and cannot be paid off. So here it says that sometimes security forces the third wheel uh, of a fight. So if you accidentally target them with the missile operator mode, you get a crime, stu, crime stat 2. And sometimes it is uh, unavoidable because of proximity spawns, but most of the times it does not happen. Now this is interesting. It has not happened to me uh, ever, but apparently if you accidentally target with missiles a security force, then you get a, a crime stat too. That's, uh, that's that's cool. That means that if you if you target people, you can actually can consider you a, a criminal. I didn't know that. Anyway, number eight here, the accidental EMP. So that's only if you have a, a ship like, uh, for example, one of those uh, one of those ships that, that that have EMPs, right? So sometimes security forces spawn <laughs> spawn or are a third wheel uh, fight if you uh, if you EMP. I don't know what uh, third wheel fight. I have no idea what that means. Uh, that's what he says. Yeah. So anyway, sometimes security forces spawn uh, when you uh, in range of your EMP. So that is super rare. This only happens to certain ships and is generally avoidable. So that's probably happening. Let's say for example you are in uh, around security uh, security post career right there's somebody over there trying to clear a, trying to clear a, a crime stat it can happen that a security force just comes here and tries to scan you see if you have any any contraband for example right well unfortunately uh, you are not here for that you were here to catch a bounty and you were uh, you, you were about to release an EMP well uh, that security uh, NPC will be shot by the EMP and you will have a crime stat too Next, number nine, flying a mantis. Now, this is very interesting here. And uh, this is a mechanic, apparently, where uh, where criminals can still charge mantis pilots with a crime stat one uh, because of the QED snare. And sometimes, also, other uh, friendly pilots in the area might also charge you. So, uh, yeah, right now, that's why nobody is flying a mantis. It's just too dangerous. Uh, you are probably going to be considered a criminal, even though you are trying to be a bounty hunter and trying to catch a prey, because anyone who will be uh, interdicted by the quantum snare will be able to press charges eventually even if you're not after them even if it's an accident so that's really uh, annoying here number 10 apparently gunners can give a crime stat to the pilot and uh, this is a mechanic here where gunners are hitting uh, targets but unfortunately get the captain of the ship a uh, crime stat so yeah that's 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 a problem the gunner should have the crime stat not the captain but at the same time you know when you're the captain you are responsible for your gunners so for example if you bring new players but they don't have good aims in fights or they don't know what uh, what they're doing they are unfortunately liabilities i think that in this case i would agree with that uh, i think that when you are a captain you should know your crew and you should know who you are hiring and uh, if the if some of your uh, if, if some of your gunners decide to to do a, a lot of BS or outright and, and they decide to just uh, mess up your your, your game, then just just don't hire them anymore, right? Uh, it's your fault. In, in my opinion, you should know who you are putting inside your ship. So that one, yeah, it, it's it's not really an accident. I think that it would be more negligence. And uh, number 11 here says that there are some malicious exploit crime stats as well. So here it says that there are multiple ways players can give another player a crime stat. For example, clipping into people's ships, dropping themselves on someone's parked ship and get a collision damage against it, or charging homicides, for example. That's a, there's a large list of, list of exploits. For example, I have also seen in the Siege of Horizon, uh, a, a random player just getting in my line of fire when I was shooting an NPC, he's just right in front of me and got shot 
obviously, and he did that on purpose. Then his friends came in, and uh, they just uh, shot me and sent me to Clasher and looted me uh, for good purpose. So that was quite uh, an annoying exploit and definitely something that the devs have to look into it. So there we have it, guys. An interesting list uh, on Spectrum that you can find. Again, the link will be in the comment section down below from uh, Dinosian. And uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's very eye-opening. You has you guys have to watch out for those uh, accidental crime stats, especially as uh, 3.18 is going to see a re a little overhaul of uh, crime stat clearing. Now that we all gonna have to go to uh, security post career to do that, uh, I hope that some of those will be worked on by CIG, or at least that we can g pay off uh, not just crime stat one, but also crime stat two at uh, fine terminals. That would be. Uh, I think uh, a nice little walk around. Anyway, guys, that's all for this video. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. We got giveaways this month. We are giving away some Centurions. Uh, if you answer the question I'm going to ask right now and subscribe to the channel, well, uh, you can get to win one of those. And here's the question. Uh, what is the, the the worst or the most common, perhaps, accidental crime stat that you've had in the game? For me, that's shooting, uh, shooting guards by accident in the bunkers. But let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to be joining us on Discord, well, we have a lovely community there and also two more Centurions to give away. All you have to do is to join our video sharing contest or become a Patreon or a YouTube channel member. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Captain Steak, Geek Citizen, Eric on Dr. Robin and Geek Citizen. I will see you guys later.